Hello, hello, my name is Wendy Literal and I'm going to be talking about the Razor Mouse. Hi, okay, so let's talk about this lovely thing and I really should have pulled this out. This is my Razor Mouse. This is about five years old, so this is the old model. The new one looks very, very similar, <laughs> it's, but I've had it for, gosh, for a long, long time. So at least since we've been in this house, so that's three years. I'm pretty sure it's more than that, a couple more than that. But basically this mouse is, it's got um, a really high feedback. So the reason I got this was because I got addicted to a game called StarCraft II. <laughs> so I actually started playing StarCraft, like the original StarCraft back in the 90s when I was in high school. And now that StarCraft II has come out, I immediately, of course, jumped right back on the bandwagon, but I had a wireless mouse when I first started, just a simple Logitech wireless mouse, and it sucked for, like, lagging. So it, it wasn't awful for, like, regular use, like, going through and doing, like, website design and things like that, but it wasn't good for that high-quality feedback that you're you got to move your people now or you're going to die kind of thing, you know? So it, it just, that one quick half a second lag was enough to, to screw me up in games and it got really frustrating. So my husband got tired of me yelling at the computer <laughs> and he went out and bought this one. Um, and I really like it a lot. It's called the death adder and it's fantastic. And I've had it all this time. I've never had a problem with it. And I, the only reason I'm thinking about changing it is because I'm left-handed <laughs> and this is a right-handed mouse. So I kind of want to switch back over to having a left-handed mouse and really I'm ambidextrous. So it, it's not the end of the world, but I just find I have better, it's better with my left. So I'm going to go ahead and buy a new one and move over here. Now, what I wanted to say about this one is, you know, having a wired mouse instead of having a wireless mouse, it really depends on what you're doing. If you do not, if you're not planning to play games, don't bother getting this. It, it's just not worth it. But if you're going to use it during playing games or if you just want that next level connection with, um, with your artwork when you're working on the computer doing your design work, then it is worth it to have it, even though it has a, a cord on it. And I will say the cord on it, it's braided in such a way that it does not drag. So like, you know how sometimes you'll have um, the cords that have like the rubber on the outside and it just grabs everything from dust, lint, anything that's on your, on, on your desktop. And if you got paper, it drags it with, it doesn't do that with this kind of cord. And it's, it's wonderful. And you'll see here, we'll put in a little bit of B footage here um, that shows how bad. <laughs> it's kind of gotten frayed over the years, but it's really only frayed in one spot. And even in this one spot, it's not, it's not the end of the world. I could probably just cut that off and it would be fine. Um, but that's it. Like that's the only real wear on this. And I have, I have spilled stuff on this. I have, and it is not waterproof. Don't, don't go thinking it's waterproof because I said that. Um, but it is, it's very easy to hold. It's very easy to hold on your hand. Now I have a total ergonomic setup. My desk is a custom height. My keyboard is the Microsoft uh, ergonomic keyboard, which is also awesome. I should probably do a video on that too. But it's, everything is kind of set up for my height. I'm five foot three. My husband who is six foot sits down at this desk and he absolutely hates life. <laughs> so, but having this, this particular mouse works so well with carpal tunnel, which I have a little bit of, um, and it works so well with like response. It's like the scroll, the scroll mouse, the scroll mouse, the scroll wheel on it is awesome. It's it's very responsive and it's got kind of like a. All of them are kind of rubbery, but it's kind of got like enough of lag in the material that you have a lot more control over it. So, which is also useful in gaming. So. It's just got enough of a resistance that it's not like it's going to slow you down, but it's also not, you can get really precise with it. So if you're trying to find something specific or zoom in or zoom out just like to a certain degree, you know, it's like you're not fighting with the mouse to get to where you're going to go. You can just slowly release it and it, it's perfect. Um, so I really like that feature on it. It also has the left-handed, well, on this one because it is a right-handed mouse, it has the two buttons on the side, so you can quickly do your scrolling. So if you need to back up, like I'm a website designer, so I constantly have tabs open 
all the time. So now you have to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in my browser. Being able to um, hit the left mouse and then hit the right mouse, and I'm going to put that up on the screen because that makes no sense the way I'm talking about it. Um, being able to hit the left one and then being able to hit the other one to go forward and the one to go backwards, it just speeds things up so, so quickly. I will never have another mouse that does not have those keys on it because just in doing editing alone, it's, it's phenomenal. Um, and there's actually quite a few other places where you can use that, that kind of clicking and it, it works, you know, other places like gaming, um, in, in editing software, um, like really, I can think of like video in, in browsing in, in, um, in like actual editors, like, um, for coding, like it, it works. So it's, it's super, super, super handy. If you don't have those side buttons right now, definitely, even if you don't get a death adder, get something that has it because it will speed up your productivity like crazy. As soon as you get that habit, cause you do have to teach yourself to do it. But once you get that habit, it, it really is a game changer. Um, and then the only other feature that this one has is it has a glowing, um, gosh, it's so dirty. <laughs> it's got a glowing, you see, little thing on there, and that's it. I don't really like being blinded by my keyboards and my mice, you know, like the ones that have like the, the back lid and it's just like got all these psychedelic colors and things like that. I don't like that. Um, because when I'm focusing on something, I'm focusing on the screen, and the only thing I want to be bothered by is the screen. So having a little bit of something is fine. Um, this is enough for me. <laughs> so it's like my, my husband, I hate to use my example, he also does gaming. So he has the backlit keyboard, he's got like the crazy mouse, he's got like the lights inside of his computer. It's cool, it is cool it's too much for me. I, I just, I want to not be blinded by it. So this is, it's muted enough and it's, it's kind of blue that isn't like, you know, like if you look at blue number or blue LEDs on a, on a clock and it blinds you and you can't really make out what it says, it's not that kind of blue. It's a very soft, subtle, it, it almost looks like an incandescent, incandescent light. So it doesn't blind you when you look at it. So like I can look at it and it's like, just super soft. So they did well on that. You know, I've, I've seen a lot of ones where they just stick in an LED and it's just like, you can barely look at it because it's half blinding you because the light is so bright. So it's not like that. It does not have any under, there's no lighting underneath. So like you sometimes you'll see mice that have like, almost like, like what you have on cars, <laughs> you know, like that underbelly lighting. It doesn't have that. And that's, that's just fine by me. And um, one more thing was the, uh, the tracking it around on your screen, it is not, it's very controllable. So I actually like this part more for graphics than I do for gaming. And it is important gaming. Um, it does slow down your, your character enough that it's reliable. Um, like you can, you can have a lot more control within, in the gaming. Um, like if you're, if you're trying to, let's say you're playing World of Warcraft, right? And you can, you're trying to get your, your screen to look a certain way or something. It's very good for that kind of thing. Um, looking up, turning to the side or whatever. Um, it's very, very reactive and very controllable and it feeds back and forth with the, the settings very well. Um, but in graphics, it's really good because you can, you can get super precise. Now, some of it is the settings on your actual machine. Um, so you, you can't have like, you know, a, a reaction speed on your mouse to be like 5 million, you know, and just zooming all over the screen and expect it to work correctly. So you kind of have to find where, where the sweet spot is, but it is super, super easy to control. So which point, once you figure out what settings you want to be, and then you have trained yourself to work in, within those settings, it's worth it. Oh my gosh, this has been the best little mouse. And I've never had problems. I've gone through so many mice over the years. And this one has just been consistently. That's why the wire is free. Because it's just been so consistently a really good performer. So if you have any questions about them, please leave it in the comments below. I will do my best to answer. Um, and YouTube is the best place to reach me. If you want to reach out to me on Instagram, that's the second best place. Just Wendy underscore literal, two Ts. Um, that's the second best place to reach me. Otherwise, uh, just reach out to me on Twitter or shoot me an email. Um, you can go over to the website at creationdepot.com and that's a great place to just find out more about me. So that's it guys. I hope this has been helpful. Please do. Oh, affiliate link is in the description below. Don't forget.
I never remember to do those things. So I'm glad I did. But yeah, the affiliate link is down below. It goes directly to the, this model version of it, the right-handed one. Um, and there are links on that page to go to like a newer model. If you're interested in that, um, the newer model has two buttons right here. Let me get on the screen right here and right here. So there's two more new buttons. I could see them being useful if you wanted to like program some macros to it or something like in a game or something, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of old school. I don't really feel like I need all that stuff. So, but I will link to this model and then you can navigate from there where you want to go. So I hope that has been helpful guys. Uh, if you have any questions, like send, leave in the comment below and I'll talk to you then. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Bye.